side stand, back to fabrication. Now today I want to extend the side stand by however much necessary because I've jacked the bike up and it now leans over too far. So I need to make that longer by however much, I don't know, we shall see. I want to make it look as factory and unmodified as possible. So wish me luck, let's get stuck in. Right, I think you could see the problem there initially. It's leaning over so darn far, it almost feels like it's gonna roll over the top of the stand. But that is just an inch and a half block of wood stuck straight under it, and it's pretty much perfect. So I'm gonna roll with that. I might add perhaps, I don't know, another five mil or something, but it's it, that's marginal. So I'm gonna go with that. Let's get that actually measured and then get the stand off. Right, this is the sort of thing that gets irritating in terms of three minute job taking a stand off into half an hour of puffing about. This, I don't know, previous owner bodgery, whatever, there was a little knot nut on the back of it, which is correct. And then this bolt that holds it on also threads into the back of the stand itself. But I think somebody's not known that at some point, kept turning and stripped the thread in the back of there. So that bolt absolutely will not come out. So I've had to try for all that time and then eventually take the whole assembly off which needs a clean up anyway <laughs> and then put it on the bench and cut the end of that bolt off and then re-thread it afterwards and repair it you know three minute job half an hour Bam. Right, typical situation, that's the bolt, that was the side stand bolt that was in there and over the years of, I don't know, leaning on that, this part is the shank that kind of does the, the holding of the bike up and I guess the pressure on it, twisting it had mushroomed that little lip edge and there's just no way it was coming out and as such when you try and turn it out with the use of the thread that's on the end it just stripped the thread so that were never coming out without destroying it. So we'll get a new one of those, which is annoying because it means I can't put this on the bike today and stand the bike on it and kind of da da da. I've got to deal with that next, which is a pain in the backside. So I'll just have to order one, probably cost a hundred pounds or something mad. But anyway, there we are. Stand is at last off. It's taken, it's 20 past 11 now. It's taken nearly an hour and a half to get to that. It should have been five minutes. That's what makes projects long-winded. Let's get on with it. Right, well that's what I'm going to go with, a little socket extension bar. It's a nice, thick, beefy piece of steel. It's not a cheap one either. Um, it is worn out and mullered. It's been hammered on the end of. I got it at a car boot sale. I paid about three quid for a, 
bucket of old bits and pieces like this and I just use them for whenever. Some of them are worthy and usable tools, you use a lucky dip when you buy that sort of stuff. But this being vanadium, Geodor, it's a German item originally, it's a good quality tool and I think that piece of steel, uh, if I cut a slug out of that, that little slug of steel I think will be a lot more reliable for something like this than a piece of scrap out of the box or a bit of mild steel. That twisted steel, good idea, would love to have used that for visual effect but only if I could do the whole thing and is it then strong enough to hold that bike dali dub. -dali. I like it like that, I think that's a far better way to go, I don't know I might be wrong. I'm not a metallurgist, I don't know what that steel is made from, tool steel, whatever you want to call it, but I'd certainly believe in that a lot stronger and rely on that a lot more comfortably than I would some bit of mild steel out the scrap for holding up the weight of the bike. What do you think? I do. Anyway, let's go on a bit.
Right, there we go, end X, that's that little job done. Another one, tip, side stand extended. That's been one and three quarter inches longer than it was and that should stand absolutely perfectly as it was. Now, the welders out there amongst you will have already probably criticized and said that's not gonna be strong enough. I don't know, I really don't, I've done my best. I use the strongest piece of steel that I could think of to use. Even if I went out and bought a piece of steel, I would buy something like tool steel, something very, very strong and resilient. I'm thinking that that extension bar could have probably taken 250 Newton meters on a torque wrench. So I'm hoping it's strong enough for the job. As for the welding itself, well, I don't know. I V'd out the crack or the, go the, the join between all of those pieces of metal. So everything that I welded went down into a little V and I allowed that welding torch to stay on it. And before I dropped the trigger, it was absolutely glowing orange. So I'm hoping I got enough penetration into that steel to get that properly welded all the way through. I don't know, it's a thick piece of steel. It is a little bit beyond the world and my machine is only really rated up to about six mil thick steel and that's about 12 mil thick. I don't know, but it is bar. So ultimately, perhaps it's worked, perhaps it's not. I don't know. I will test it before I go out there and rely on it. I'll just put it on the side stand, lean it over, give it some welly and see what happens. Who knows, if it breaks, then I'll have to think of something else, perhaps a piece of tubing over it, something to, but I want it thin and slender like that, looking factory. That's the idea, that's what I wanted. Now, drying times, that's got to dry. I can't do anything with that. I would love to put that back on. And normally I would have suspended filming here, come back in 48 hours, bolted it on, and then finished the video, as I've been doing recently. But I can't do that because I haven't got the bolt. The bolt won't turn up now until, Saturday morning, then once I've got that bolt, I can stick the stand on, and my intention then for the next video on Saturday is to give you a full proper look at the bike in all its glory. So I wanna bolt the belly pan on underneath, I wanna put the nose cone on, the front mud guard on, obviously the side stand to stand it on, and wheel it out into the daylight. It won't be finished by any means, but it would just be a good chance to have a look around and see what it looks like now in all its clothes. And I really am looking forward to that, because I haven't seen it with any of the other bodywork on, since this tale has been made. So I'm definitely very interested in that and I hope you are too. So there we are. Thank you for all your amazing commitment and all your amazing support. It is definitely driving us along. This is what YouTube is about. Your comments, your suggestions and all the things that you help us with and tell us, that helps me do things a little bit better than I might have done it myself. Anyway, there we go, that's it. Thanks for watching, take it easy, ride safe, enjoy your week and I'll see you at the weekend for a proper look round, see what this looks like. See you soon.